Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Brittany. I make things out of chocolate. Guys, I cannot wait to show you what I've made for today's video. If you're here for the chocolate, keep watching, even if you're not into Taylor Swift. And if you're here for the Taylor Swift stuff, kick back and enjoy because you're probably going to learn some things about chocolate that you didn't know before. Leave a comment down below if you're here for the chocolate or if you're here for the Taylor Swift stuff at all. <laughs> so Taylor is re-recording all of her early albums. It's a whole thing. And tomorrow, well, tonight at midnight, she is releasing her re-recorded 1989 album or 1989 Taylor's version. You've maybe already seen on my YouTube shorts, I've been doing a countdown to the release of this album by making each of her 16 songs into a chocolate bonbon. And today's video is the countdown finale. It's a 1989 album chocolate box. If you're a Swifty, you know that the vibe of 1989 is New York City, beach, seagulls, <laughs> and Polaroids are a big theme for this era. In fact, the original album cover is a Polaroid picture and her new album cover resembles a Polaroid as well. And as you can see, both album covers have seagulls on them. <laughs> so for my chocolate box, my idea was to create a chocolate Polaroid picture with like a photo of seagulls in a like beach scene. And if you guys have been here a while, you know that I love making chocolate boxes in different shapes and I decorate them. Usually I decorate them after I make them with like chocolate piping or just chocolate twirls and different shapes and like glue it together. But for this box, I had the idea to use my new cocoa butter skills to make an actual like custom colored image. And I can't tell you how excited I was when I pulled off that first piece of chocolate and my idea actually worked. <laughs> After putting in so many hours of work into the design, I just, I didn't know if it was going to work. In theory, it should work, but you know, sometimes with chocolate, things don't always work like you think they should, <laughs> but this did. And basically I just treated um, the acetate sheet like a polycarbonate mold. Anyway, I'm excited to show you the full process of me making this box along with all the little chocolates that go inside. And if you're excited to see it, please give this video a like right now. And if you like the results, please share this video with some of your Swifty or chocolate friends. All right, let's get into it. So whenever I do a bigger themed project, I like to sketch some ideas out first on my iPad. I knew the top of the box needed to be a Polaroid. The 1989 TV album cover is of Taylor's face, but I wasn't about to attempt a cocoa butter portrait. So I went with the seagull theme and drew out a beach scene. I cropped out the Polaroid image and printed it off backwards along with the new 1989 Taylor's version text from the album. And I start by cutting those out as well as my Polaroid template. The next part might seem obvious to you guys as you watch me do it, but it took me a minute to figure out how I was going to get a nice clean square for the photo, but also a clean white Polaroid border but then also figure out once I lay down the chocolate where the edge of the Polaroid was so that I don't accidentally cut things wrong and have anything be off center. <laughs> so on the acetate sheet, I marked the outside border and the inside border. Then I taped my photo image and text onto the acetate so that I had something to follow as I paint. Then I used vinyl tape to mark off the beach scene image portion of the design. And now I'm just taping pieces of paper around the rest of the acetate to keep it nice and clean for when I use the airbrush later. And 
the side pieces and the bottom piece were simpler. All I had to do was mark the lines to the right size on the acetate. And now we get into the fun part. I wanted the Polaroid to have that authentic grainy look to it. So before I painted the scene, I sprayed small uneven gray dots onto the acetate. Now keep in mind, everything I do on this has to be done in the opposite order of what you see. So whatever is closest to the acetate will be seen first, if that makes sense. So next I do little black dots for the seagull's eyes. Then I add some dark gray details. and then the light gray details. Now I use orange cocoa butter to do the beaks and the feet. And now that all the seagull's details are done, I just have to fill in the rest of their bodies with white. And then I also use the white to brush on some puffy clouds. And here I've just cut a piece of paper into the shape of the sand at the bottom of the photo and I spray a nice solid coat of tan down. I also spray the full bottom piece in tan and a half fade of tan on all the side pieces. And next up on the Polaroid piece is the water. So with a nice 1989 blue, I paint some onto the water section and use my spray gun to just blow air onto it to kind of create a bit of a wave effect. And then I use that same effect on all of my side pieces. And now with a lighter blue cocoa butter, I block off my sky section and spray a nice even coat there. Once that's done, I can peel off all of my protective paper pieces along with my vinyl tape that is blocking off my photo image border. And it's time to add on the album title. So I have to do the small black letters first, then add the 1989 writing in blue.
And then I back every single piece in white just to make sure that the colors are solid and really pop. And for the Polaroid, the white background is also the white border. And this is where the lines that I marked on the acetate come in. I try to only spray to those edges and keep the ends of the lines visible so that I'll know where to cut out my chocolate pieces from. Now I temper some white chocolate and spread a thin coat on top of just where I need the chocolate pieces to be cut from. And I usually make my box pieces probably around an eighth of an inch thick. I decided to use white chocolate because the edges of the pieces will show just a little bit and I thought white would look the best with the color scheme of this whole box design. Here I just tap the bottom of the sheet tray to smooth out my chocolate a little bit. And once the chocolate's set up, I just follow the outside lines to cut out my Polaroid box top. Now, when the chocolate sets up, it will contract. So if I don't weigh down the top as it cools, it will curve and I need my pieces to stay flat. So I just put a piece of parchment paper down and I've found that a couple cubes of butter work great to keep the chocolate flat. And I just pop this in the fridge for about 20 minutes to crystallize. And I just repeat the same exact process with the side pieces and the bottom piece. Now, the moment of truth. After all my hard work, will it peel off the acetate? Well, you guys already know that it does because you've seen the photos, but <laughs> will the cocoa butter stick to the chocolate and will it look smooth and shiny? And the answer is yes. And I was so relieved and excited to see how good it turned out. Check out these pieces. I was amazed at how shiny they are. So now it's time to assemble the box. I just use a little cardboard template first to mark where my side pieces go. I use a heat plate to melt the edges of each side piece with a slight angle so that they'll fit together better in the corners. And then I just melt the bottom edge a tiny bit, enough to give me some to stick the piece down to the bottom of the box with. I do that with each side piece and then glue the seam together with some tempered white chocolate. Let's put on the lid and see how it all looks. And here is the finished 1989 album box with all of its little chocolate songs. If you haven't seen my YouTube shorts for the making of each chocolate song, check those out. And I'll show you here all of the chocolate song designs finished so that you can see them.
All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you learned something new, whether you're a Taylor Swift fan or not. If you liked the video, please give it a like. It helps me out a lot. And leave me a comment down below what part of the process was your favorite. And also tell me which chocolate song was your favorite, Bon Bon Design. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, today's the day. If you'd like to see something else that's sweet, just click on one of these thumbnails. Thanks so much for watching today, and I'll see you soon. Bye.